I thank you for joining me today and I bless the name of the Lord for your life. I pray that the blessings of the Lord will abide with you now and forevermore in the name of Jesus. My name is Patrick Tolani and I'm a pastor with Christ Love Assembly, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Oxford. We are reflecting together from the Open Heavens Daily Guide written by Pastor E. Adeboe the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. The topic for today is Assurance of Sonship. And the Bible passage is taken from the book of 1 John, chapter 3, from verse 7 to 10. Little children, let no one deceive you. He who practices righteousness is righteous, just as he is righteous. He who sins is of the devil, for the devil has sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Whoever has been born of God does not sin, for his seed remains in him, and he cannot sin, because he has been born of God. In this, the children of God and the children of the devil are manifest. Whoever does not practice righteousness is not of God, nor is he who does not love his brother. Our memory verse is Romans chapter 6, 8, verse 16. Romans 8, 16. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. Now when a child is born into a family, he or she naturally grows up in that family to call whoever is the dad of the family daddy. This comes naturally and the child will make demands on that dad without thinking about it. You often hear, Daddy, Daddy, can we go to McDonald's? They are not afraid to ask. They know that he is there with his loving kindness. In our case with God, the truth is that God created us in his own image, but we lost favor with him as a result of our sins and lost the position that we were created into from the foundation of the earth. However, through a well-planned program of redemption, the Lord bought us with a price and we can now cry to the Lord, Abba, Father. Pastor Jeboye told us in the Open Heavens Daily Guide of today, that many people don't know why he often communicates with God as his daddy. He told us that it is because their relationship is real and personal. It is not a relationship with a deity or a cosmic God. That is why God can speak to him directly. God will reveal himself to those who believe that he is and is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So when we know that the Almighty God is our Father, we can confidently go to him and actually greet him as we offer our thanksgiving and praises to him. And as well, we can make our petition to him. The story is told of a day that the daughter of the president of a country saw the vice president coming to visit their home. The young lady was too excited to meet the vice president of the country. But remember, her father was the president of the country. So when the vice president left, the girl ran to the dad and said, Daddy, I saw someone very important today, the vice president of this country. And then the dad told her, you see the president every day. And you are even talking to the president now. How often we do disregard our Heavenly Father because we don't recognize the fact that we are in His presence and should take advantage of that grace to present our big petitions to Him. Our key point, if you are not saved, your status cannot change. Wow! Why don't you think about this and get saved today so that your status can 
change. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.